welcome back to another video on the Cozy Moments Lace Shawl. We are going to do the second lace section. So the first lace section were these dancing cables. And the second lace section are kind of um, V's, triangles. And I can show you on my whirl sample because I've knit ahead on that one. Can you see that there's kind of a chevron, kind of a zigzag pattern there? We will be knitting these triangles. And we'll be starting at row 26. And we've just done an increased row, so that was row 24. Then on row 25, you've just purled all these stitches. And feel free to put in another lifeline at this point before starting the second lace chart. Uh, because that's what lifelines are for. You know, it only takes a few minutes to put one in. And say you make a mistake in this lace section, then it's really easy to rip back to that uh, lifeline. So I'm going to put the chart on the screen here for you. So as you can see, it, uh, it is eight stitches wide and six rows high. So we'll repeat that. Um, and we'll be repeating it until row 49. So we'll have four repeats of the pattern. So you'll have four triangles and we will end on a row six of the pattern. All right, so get your shawl and we'll get started on the first row of the chart. So we'll get started with row one of the pattern. I'll pull it up on the screen for you as well. So first we knit those four stitches as always. And we slip the marker. Now, if you've put in a lifeline, be sure not to knit into your lifeline. So on the chart, there's one white box first as we start reading from the bottom right. So we knit one stitch first. Then there's a circle, which means a yarn over. So we're doing a yarn over. Then a slip, slip, knit. So we slip one, slip another one insert our left needle from left to right and knit those two together. So we now have the yarn over and the slip slip knit, also called SSK. Now there are three white boxes, so we knit three stitches. And then there's another slanted line, but in the other direction, which means it's a knit two together. So we knit two stitches together through the front loops from left to right. And then a yarn over. And the yarn over is the last stitch in our chart. Then we go back to the beginning to the right side and we know to knit one. So that is the chart repeat. Um, I'm gonna show you that as well, throwing style. So we just knit the first stitch, then yarn over then slip, slip, knit, knit three, knit two together, oops, I split the yarn there, knit two together, and yarn over, and then we knit that one stitch from the beginning of the chart. So you're just gonna keep knitting this until you reach the stitch marker. Now, as you come to the end of your row, uh, we need to do that final yarn over. So just yarn over, slip that marker, make sure the yarn over does not slip off and knit those four stitches. And that's how you do the yarn over 
at the end of your repeat. Now, if you've reached the end or your stitch marker and uh, you're still in the middle of a repeat or your stitch count doesn't work out, that can mean that you didn't have the correct stitch count to begin with. So make sure that after each increase row, you count your stitches. Or you may have made a mistake in this uh, row that we just did. So to go back and count your stitches, it's really easy. So, uh, so make sure you have the chart. And then you can just trace back uh, your stitches. So you see this first knit stitch then the yarn over. Now you will see that the yarn over is always a slanted line. Here's another one and here. So yarn overs are really easy to recognize. And then the slanted decreases. You can see that line here. It looks almost exactly like the chart. That slip slip knit. Then three knit stitches. And then the right slanted one, which is the K2 together. Then the yarn over, knit one, yarn over, slip slip knit, knit three, K2 together, yarn over, knit one, yarn over. So if you just, um, if you don't have the correct amount of stitches at the end, you can just go through your round again like this and maybe uh, between the decreases you've done a knit two or something like that or maybe um, I don't know maybe you've uh, decreased three stitches instead of two so if you don't have enough stitches to complete your last repeat just check and make sure you haven't made any mistakes on this round now the next row of your chart is a wrong side row and for this chart you can see that there are all just plain empty white boxes which means so we always knit the first four stitches so those white boxes mean knit on the right side but purl on the wrong side so for this wrong side we are going to purl all stitches between the markers because the chart only applies to the stitches between the markers so just purl all stitches on the wrong side rows and can meet me back for row three all right we're on to row three which is basically the same stitches just in a different place so this row we start with two knit stitches so knit two then again a yarn over slip slip knit and then not three but one stitch until the next decrease knit two together yarn over and then knit one and not sure if you can see this already but the decreases kind of line up see and that's what you want to see so I'm gonna knit one repeat throwing style so knit two yarn over slip slip knit knit one knit two together yarn over and knit one so that's two repeats and as we go on you'll be able to see the lace better so I'm gonna finish this row and then I'm also gonna finish the wrong side row which is just purl and then meet me back for row five 
Okay, now on row five, we're seeing a new symbol in our chart. Uh, and we're, we're just going to knit that when we come to it. So we are going to knit three first. Okay, then yarn over. And this stitch, so this little symbol that you see, the little uh, bird's foot, is a slip one, knit two together, and pass the slip stitch over. So we have uh, done our yarn over. Then we are going to slip one like this. We are going to knit two together like this and pass the slipped stitch over. So that's this one. You might want to hold down to this one for a bit and then pass it over so that you have a double decrease like that. So it kind of brings the two decrease lines together. Do you see that? And now we do another yarn over and then knit two. And that's one chart repeat. Now I'll do one more in throwing style. So we knit three, two, three, and then our yarn over. Slip one, knit two together, in there, and then pass that slipped stitch over. Yarn over and knit two. And I find this row really satisfying because you can really see triangles forming and that's just you know it's one of the most pleasing things about lace knitting that you can actually see something happening it's really motivating so I am going to complete this row and I'm also going to complete the next row and that will be the last row of our chart so I've just completed one repeat of my chart and apologies the sun is shining quite a bit now here which is actually quite nice um so i've completed one set of triangles one zigzag you can see that zigzag of yarn overs going across so this was the end of row 31 i think so keep knitting until you have completed four repeats of the chart and feel free to put in a lifeline whenever you need it, whether it's in the middle of a repeat or whether it's at the end of a repeat. If you think, wow, I'm happy that I got so far, I don't want to rip that out, then go ahead and put in a lifeline. You only need a couple minutes and some smooth cotton yarn and be sure to check my video on lifelines if you're not sure how to do it. And then go ahead and knit those four repeats of the chart which should be row 49. So the last row should be row 49 of your shawl. Then you're going to knit a couple more rows before doing another increase row. And that increase row will not be using uh, knit front back this time, but, but we'll be using yarn overs. So you'll be yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one. It's a really fun row actually. <laughs> and then, um, then a couple more knit rows and then I'll be recording a new video for the third lace chart. So please do meet me back there and I would love to see the progress on your shawls so far. So be sure to share your pictures in the Facebook groups by Scapius and tag them with Cozy Moment Shawl and hashtag Val Mal for our Valentine's make along and do that on Instagram as well. And if you're sharing them on Instagram, you can tag me as well. I'd love to see your shawls. I'm at newleafdesigns.nl. So yeah, happy knitting and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.